G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and you can grow just about any fruit tree in a pot or a container. But in this video, I'm gonna see if I can squeeze out my top five reasons for why I think lemon trees are the best fruit tree to grow in a container. Let's get into it. Now this example here is obviously not in a pot. And because citrus grows so well here and we have plenty of room on our property, we don't need to grow lemons in containers, but you might. And that's why I wanted to cover this topic. I love seeing fruit trees growing in containers, especially if they are growing well. I find it fascinating that a fruit tree can not only just survive in a pot, but thrive and produce a decent amount of food for the relatively small footprint it has. This quality opens fruit tree growing to more people than just those of us with plenty of space. And there's nothing sour about the fact that whilst property sizes are generally getting smaller, the interest in growing fruit trees from people all around the world is getting larger. So how do we make a compromise between wanting to grow our own organic fruit without taking up too much space? Container growing is how, and a lemon tree should be your first choice. Here's why. Number one, they're easy to grow in ground and in containers. And the reason I chose this variety here as a bush lemon is because we often find this growing wild around Australia. It's a very hardy variety, both good in ground and in containers. And when I say hardy, you can just use a standard potting mix. I would use a premium potting mix for sure. If you're going to put any fruit tree in a container, you should be using the best medium you possibly can. And there's no doubt that with lots of water and consistent, I mean, regular fertilizer, you could grow a lemon tree pretty successfully in here and it would still give you quite a bit of fruit. Having said that, behind me is a more appropriate size for a lemon tree. It's about a foot across, 40 centimetres, and I would even go 50, half a metre across is probably even a better size. Obviously, the bigger the container, the better, because the more root system you get, the more fruit it's gonna be able to hold and the better value you're gonna get out of that potted citrus tree. Now, you might be saying, well, the bigger container I go, the harder it is to move around, Mark. Well, you can always put it on rollers or you can always shimmy it back and use a trolley jack or anything like that to move your lemon tree in a container around. Personally, if I were to grow a lemon tree in a pot like this, I'd also put a thick mulch around the base of the plant and I'd add compost at least twice a year. Some nice thick rich compost, maybe a bit of decomposed animal manure, nice and rich, some cow manure perhaps. Of course, adding citrus fertilizer with trace elements on a regular basis as directed will keep your tree nice and healthy and give it enough energy to produce the fruit that you want. And although I say it's dead set easy to grow them in pots, don't forget to water them because any tree or plant for that matter that is sitting in a pot will dry out faster than those in the ground or in a normal garden bed. So keep that in mind, regular water, so that it doesn't get too thirsty and stressed out. Number two is versatility. Who doesn't? use lemons. I mean, they are one of the most versatile food crops the world has ever known. They can be used in drinks, food cooking, as a dressing for a salad, preserving other foods, and even a cleaning product. I mean, one lemon goes a long way. Let's hope I don't cut my fingers off here, because if I got lemon in that cart, it would surely sting, wouldn't it? Now I'll poke my eye out going like this. Check, that's the bush lemon. It's actually quite bitter. Well, I should, have say, I should say tart, but um, oh, wonderful for dressings and all sorts of things. One of my favorite ways to have lemon is preserved, like the Moroccan way. We've done that many times before. When you preserve them in their own juice with, a, with some salt, they are just magic like that. But there are millions of ways 
that people in history and now have preserved lemons. And one lemon goes a long way. That's the other thing. This is the Maya lemon. And you can see it's a little bit tighter. It's quite a bit, well not quite a bit, it's a little bit sweeter than the bush lemon. And it's uh, a fantastic lemon to grow. Prolific on the tree, grows very easily. They say it's a cross between an orange and a lemon, but it certainly doesn't taste too much like an orange. But one of these lemons, you just know how far it can go. You could use one half to flavor subtly a salad or a snitchel steak, bit of chicken, or make a chili sauce. And you can use the other half to cut into pieces for people to squeeze over battered fish. I mean, is your mouth watering? <laughs> Mine is. And I've just been sucking on a lemon, so that's probably why. And talking about all that food. I'm a sucker for food, as you know. Well, one other thing that is related to versatility is how long these fellas will last on the tree. So they're versatile in the fact that you can let them sit ripe on the tree and they will ripen, but they won't fall. So instead of picking all the fruit and have a glut of fruit, you can just pick as you need and let that fruit sit on the tree. And in a way you're naturally preserving it at its absolute best for when you wanna select it and use it later on. I would say lemons just off the cuff would have to be one of the most longest lasting fruits to stay on a tree that there is. Number three, lemons can be grown in most places around the world. This here is a yuzu. It's very spiky, ouchy. It's actually a Japanese lemon. Well, it's not really technically a lemon, but it is used pretty much like lemons and it is very close to a lemon. So we really do call it the Japanese lemon. And for all intents and purposes, it's used the same way in Japanese cuisine. The fruit did originate in China and I wanted to mention this plant to demonstrate that although citrus is considered a warm climate fruit tree, you can still grow some varieties in places that get very cold. This yuzu is known to withstand temperatures below freezing, down to minus nine degrees Celsius. Lemon trees in general are the most cold tolerant variety of citrus. And by growing them in containers, you can exploit this strength even more due to the portability containers offer. For example, in a cold climate, the lemon tree in a container can be moved around to different spots depending on the time of year, where the sun is, to give it maximum exposure to warmer conditions so it perform at its best. Number four is a short one, varieties. There's lots of varieties to choose from. I've shown you a couple here, the Maya lemon, the yuzu, if you call it a lemon, which I do, and also the bush lemon, you can get a Lisbon, a Eureka, and lots of other, in fact, there's one called lots of lemons. I'm not quite sure what variety that is, but you see that regularly at the nurseries in a small pot with often plenty of fruit on it. So all you have to do is a little bit of research, go and seek out what varieties you think you'd like and whack a few in containers, a couple of different varieties. They don't cost much, especially if you're growing them from a cutting. I wouldn't grow them from seed. I'll put that disclaimer in there because you don't know what you're gonna get. If you grow a lemon tree from seed, you might get something okay. Nine times out of 10, you probably won't. So I hope that answers those questions I normally get down in the comment section about can I just grow these from seed? Yes, you can, but you might be waiting a decade for fruit. And you might not exactly get what you want. Your safest bet by far is one grown from a cutting or I personally prefer the professional ones made from a graft. And number five is they look great. Isn't it just gorgeous in ground or in a container? The fact is lemon trees make excellent feature plants.
as I said before, the fruit holds on the tree for a long time and that's good for extended harvest, but it's also highly ornamental. Going to flower is just as spectacular with the beautiful white blooms and sweet fragrance that fills the air, especially in small spaces. All citrus are special for this. And when ours flower in spring, the perfume around the garden is wonderful. And when the petals fall, it looks like snow on the ground. And that's as close to snow as we get here in the subtropics. And finally, whilst it's common for lemons to flower more in spring, varieties like this Maya lemon behind me will flower all year round in most places. So you can not only enjoy those flowers and scents for longer, you'll have fruit that's ready to pick at almost any time of the year that you want one. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you squeeze out that fist and put a nice, juicy, big thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Bye for now.